take it is about 6.45. We are just getting up. Um, so we're gonna do day in the life of hiking today. I'm gonna show you some of the things I'm packing. Um, we're going on this kind of beautiful hike where we have to get a boat to get there. Um, and then we uh, go to this lake and it's kind of like a glacial lake or something like that. Anyway, let's just see how we go. I obviously didn't plan this, um, but come along and we'll have some fun. Let's see, all right, I gotta go contribute. <laughs> We're just trying to make breakfast, got some burnt toast and the alarm is going off. we're supposed to get the boat from but we got our packs on, we got our food, done all the faffing around so yeah next steps to actually find how we get to this place. Okay also I have a fun fact while we wait. Um, if you can see the mountain up there, I don't know if that's the Grand Teton or it's, it's just one of the Tetons I think um, but it's really jagged and, and I don't know if you notice like normally mountains are kind of like a bit more rolling and that's because the Tetons uh, the youngest mountain range in the world and so they haven't had enough time for the erosion to basically stop them being all um, jagged and everything um, and what else do I know originally they were all underwater so if you actually go to the top of the Tetons to some of the like valley things up there you can see um, fossils like un from under the sea because this all used to be underwater and I want to say it's like I'm trying to remember what the guide told us I think it's like nine or ten million years old but might have to subtitle that um so yeah but it's pretty beautiful okay we found the boat takeoff lake something like that um we're at a place called journey lake so let's go wildlife spotting of the day, something called a marmot. Um, and now we are walking to the base of where we do this hike from. It's like some sort of a, a lake I guess. Oh, I cannot explain the smell here, it smells incredible. We learned this thing um, a couple of weeks ago about forest bathing, so apparently it's like a Japanese thing and basically when you're in a forest the trees give out like a spurs of endorphins um, and they're called phytonicides, phytos, oh okay I'll stop to have a look um, but anyway when you go into a forest and if you notice like you come out and you feel like really calm and relaxed and like happy it's because of these um, kind of things that are actually coming out of the trees and the Japanese literally just like go into a forest and bathe like sunbathing but forest bathing so um, we've definitely been feeling better since we started doing all these hikes the last few weeks and I think forest bathing is coming to Expert 
to explain where we actually are because we're still not at a lake. Um, but we are at a place called Inspiration Point, which I think sounds kind of cool. So we're not going to the lake. We're just oh. going into the canyon. Oh, She's so not in charge of planning. Lake somewhere? No, I'm just going to do the extra bit. Back that's the lake. Oh. Yeah. So clearly, I'm just the videographer on this trip, or here for the gram. Um, John, maybe you can explain what we're doing if anyone actually wants to do this hike. Cascade Canyon, start at Jenny Lake Trailhead. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's five miles up, I think, or five miles back. You can do a little lake add on at the end, but we're not going to do that, I don't think. So now we're just walking up five miles. Okay, apparently that's what we're doing. just opened up to this beautiful view and behind us we have some lovely waterfalls or streams I guess going. Keelan, do you want to explain to the folks the negative ions thing? Sure. I'll come a bit closer yeah, to you. Water, water running starts to release negative ions into the air which are uh, good for um, anxiety, they reduce anxiety, and there's a number of other health benefits from just humans being around air that's charged with negative ions. What is the one animal that doesn't like negative ions? Uh, beavers, actually, not because of the negative ions, but because they're very irritated by the sound of running water. Um, or if you really need to go to the bathroom, then it's no good. Oh, that's not bad. And Viv, where did we learn this fun fact? We learned from our mate Zach Efron. Great documentary. I'd say that TV Down, show releases negative ions. Down to Earth. Go watch it. Stones is playing some very lovely uh, super goop sunscreen. Um, not very bear friendly, but anyway. I just want to talk about what's in your bag. So I, I think we can all assume that you keep the most important things at the very top, easy access. And let's have a look what John has here. We've got a speaker music and we got a bit of bear spray. Very important. Been training with the bear spray. I'm pretty fast now. some forest bathing is in order. There ever was a spot for forest bathing. This is it. Looks like we found a lunch spot. Good thing we don't need to talk during lunch or anything. to be able to 
relax by uh, the lake or I guess a body of water and we're finally at this little inlet here. The boys are doing summer beers. Um, I am undecided yet whether I'm going to go in the water. It's ice, ice, ice cold. But uh, it's a pretty nice spot. Filling their water packs, filtering them, sapping. No, not really. Um, and I think we are on, on the home stretch on our way home. So we had a couple of wildlife spottings today. We had a couple of moose, uh, just saw their antlers, and then we had a female moose, which I'm gonna be honest, just looked like a big horse or a water donkey. Water donkey. Um, let's talk peaks and pits. What was the peak of today? Of what? Of today? Of the hike. Of the hike. Well, three I just, is well, I think just the day. beautiful scenery. It's just been incredible. Or maybe seeing that moose super up close and personal. Mm, female moose. Yeah. It's a tall moose. Okay. I don't say seeing that that human. No, but female she didn't human. have antlers. <laughs> so. Okay, and what about your pit? My pit? Uh, maybe when I, someone made, you made me sit on that, you know, that rock for ages and take that pose. <laughs> what did you not make you do it for ages? And then all the people were walking past and posing. Look, sometimes... I was used as a prop, basically. Sometimes you got to do it for the gram. That's what I'll say. 